we are trekking our way up the Alaskan highway and it definitely shows. <laughs> we, everything is filthy, filthy, filthy dirty. Uh, we had some rain which combines with the roads and the dirt and the gravel and then you get just mud basically thrown all over your vehicle. Our Airstream is no longer shiny but um, it's broken in, it's Alaska ready. But there's actually a laundromat right over here next to the store and the visitor center, which is across the road, maybe a half a mile, filled with water, it's got a dump station, it's supposed to have good Wi-Fi. So until we get to White Horse, which I think is like 17 hours away, we're not in a decent sized town that might have a hardware store and all this stuff right around us. I'm going to attempt to install our Acuva water filter we've got. So this is considered a UV LED water purification system. What that basically means really purifies the water well that's coming in, like 99.9%. .9%. A lot of your water purification options don't actually purify bacteria and things that can make you sick. They just make the water taste a little bit better. This actually does both. So this comes through and kills bacteria. And then you've got a second filter, which this is what most of your filtration systems, this is all they have, like for chlorine, taste, that kind of thing, which is what we currently have installed in here. And so two things this is pretty cool for. Uh, one is sometimes we're hooked into like, um, even full hookups, if they have like a lot of sulfur in the area, it could be pretty nasty. <laughs> and, and then it's sometimes also like if you're moving around on the go, like we are without hookups, um, we don't really want to drink out of our water tank. It would be nice if we're just always using this for water, no matter where we are, no matter what we're doing. We don't have to buy a bottle of water. We don't have to buy gallons of water. We don't have to carry spare water to drink. We just know we've always got water with us and we want it, we drink it. Simple. But to get to that point, I've got to finish the install. So. <laughs> I've got all this out because while we're in this area, I want to see what I needed to finish the install. The kit came with pretty much everything I need. Because projects like this, once you start it, if something goes really wrong, we may not have water. That's okay though, right? We don't need water in the RV. You need water, Hensley? No. No. You nah. don't need any. <laughs> I wanted to park in front of the hardware store. Hensley wanted the uh, playground, and so, of course, we parked in front of the playground. I think I've got everything I need. Worst case, I have to go back and get what I need. It's just down the road. Some of the technical specs, if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, we've got the Eco, so it's going to use about, I don't know, half an amp, something like that. I want it. Well, this, this is mainly what I'm looking for right here. So while Nathan is working on our water filter, you ready to go to the playground? Yeah. I need to work off some of those sweets from our last stop. At our last stop, Mary Jean and Stuart were amazing hosts and we had some good eating for sure. And she's an awesome cook and she bakes some great baked goods for us. So I need to go work some of that off. And Hensley's gonna play at the playground while Nathan gets the water filter install. I need longer arms. So if you hate plumbing in a house, you're really gonna hate plumbing in an RV. <laughs> Everything's so tight. I can't, I can't even see what I'm doing. Uh. What I'm trying to get to would take no time, but getting to it is the problem. All right, let's see if that helped at all. I'm taking the microwave out. Finally got that thing out. Oh man. Well, I told Marissa this would be a two hour deal. I've already got an hour and a half into buying electrical because I ended up having to go two places to find what I needed and then getting the faucet out. And. Now I've got drain removed, microwave removed. Chris and Hensley are not gonna be down there playing more than an hour. And then it's gonna be time to eat lunch. And that's still need to get four hours of driving in today. Pretty sure it's mountainous. Beautiful, but mountains. I don't know how the roads are either. Anyways, what I'm getting at is um, every day I wake up, and I don't think I thought about this as much when I was in a house and had a regular routine, but I wake up and I've got like a full cup if I had a good night's sleep and nothing went wrong, but I wake up with a full cup of uh, water, coffee, whatever. <laughs> and uh, as the day goes on, that cup gets drained and drained and drained until, you know, sometimes 3 p.m. It really starts hitting me. Sometimes 7 p.m. Sometimes 10 p.m. 
depending on how the day went. This has already drained me pretty well doing this this morning and uh, another four hours of driving on roads I don't know, through terrain I don't know, but that's gonna continue to drain me as well. So in this life, when there's more uncertainty, you can be drained super fast, especially when we're traveling with a four-year-old too. So I say all that to say, I think I'm at a stopping point for today, which is a pain because it'll take me 30 minutes to put everything back. But I've got possibly hours left of this and I still got all that coming up. So, cause right now if I put the plumbing back, we still got our main faucet that works and I'll hook the microwave back up. So let me get this stuff hooked back up. Pretty sure the girls will be back any minute. We'll eat some lunch and um, we're gonna move on. I literally just finished putting this stuff back in. I didn't get it done, but I'm just going to have to finish it later. Uh, yeah, we couldn't go without any food. I know. <laughs> All right. Food time. Oh, I'm making turkey sausage and some veggies. Are going to be on tacos or what? Hey, if you want tacos, I can, I can make some tacos. What do you want for lunch? Tacos. You want tacos? Yeah. He might be a nice bear, but we're gonna stay back here just in case. What do you think his name is? Berry Bear. Berry Bear, that's a good name. I bet he's eating berries. The milepost and multiple signs along the road said this was a cinnamon bun stop, so that gets us every time. Three generations have owned this place. Ugh. Look at all that mud. You put us in the mud yesterday. I know, I'm trying. There's a lot of mud around. Does daddy keep parking in the mud? Yeah. Well, you got rain boots. Why do you care? I need my boots, don't oh, I? Oh, yeah, get your big giant red boots Dad, on. Dad, you park hey, in the mud. Hey, you're jealous of my red boots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get cinnamon roll. First impressions are, I'm liking it. And so you don't want any of this, do you? Do you want this or do you want some broccoli? I want this. She actually does love broccoli. Coming. I'm coming. coming. I bet. You sure you want some of that? Yeah. Good? Mm -hmm. Big summer blow up. <laughs> summer blow up, Sam. The water. All right, you ready? All right, you putting it over your head? No. That's not gonna work. All right, let's go. Let's get it over with. Go. No. No? Well, I'll use your jacket then. Go. Get it over with. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I don't know if that's doing anything, kid. <laughs> you did. You are going to run into something. <laughs> Famous last words. Is it worth it? <laughs> it's cold, it's a high elevation, and it's raining. What could go wrong? Oh man. <laughs> but it's so pretty. It is. It's a little We are foggy. going to uh gonna earn this one. <laughs> Hopefully we get it back. <laughs> if it drops Rocks in that lake, we're not gonna get anything. Snow. Oh man, maybe I'm changing Rocks my mind. Rocks don't live in Marissa snow. approved this one. I asked her. I told her it was not ideal conditions, but well, don't blame it on me. I'm not blaming it on you. I'm just saying I want some partial responsibility. Well, what's the chances here? Uh, I'd say 90% chance we're okay. So you're saying there's a chance? Oh, I'm saying there's a chance that either wind grabs it or it's so cold it malfunctions or it gets so wet that it just falls from the sky. Maybe don't fly too high. This is the highest point on the Alaska Highway. This is Summit Lake. You can hike the trail, Summit Peak Trail. I wanted to do some hiking today, but 
It's just not ideal conditions. Allow five hours. I don't see us doing five hours in this cold rain. <laughs> so there's a campground here right at Summit Lake. This is absolutely beautiful. And you've got water access right here. So if it was not so cold and rainy, this would be an awesome spot. And we would totally take advantage of this and get the paddle boards out. Safe landing. Landing. He's getting out of there. All right. <laughs> This thing's, this thing's great. <laughs> this <thing> great. <laughs> really scenic drive. It's really beautiful. We've seen tons of wildlife, even with the rain. Tons of hiking. Um, the milepost gives you all those hikes and distances. There was a leg and some feet, then pink toes, then other legs, some spikes, a tail, and a nose. Made it to uh, Toad River. We got fuel, propane. We're trying to buy as little as possible here because <laughs> they've got a monopoly. You can even uh, pay for Wi-Fi because there's no cell signal. So that's probably pretty good business to be in. Did have to get some diesel. It's about six bucks a gallon for that. Beautiful view here though, man. I got a campground, all kinds of stuff, a little restaurant. I think you can even get mail here. It's one of the largest collections of hats in the world. That's a lot of hats. It is a lot of hats. It looks like you can leave, you leave your hat. Huh, it just keeps going and going. This one says 1988. Yeah. Are you taking a puddle splashing break? Made it to the hot springs, missed our turn, was backing up, heard a bump, a thump. Let's see what we did. I don't know what I bumped. Is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. You see anything? Man, this thing's dirty. I don't see anything. I don't know why. I, I definitely bumped, but and maybe it was the bottom. I thought I had plenty of room. I was looking back there at the road. I should have got out and just eyeballed it. So because of all the beauty we saw today, lots of stops we were four hours away we showed up and there was only two campsites left and one of them was only for one night and the other one we got for two nights so it's pretty small let's see if we can get in this don't you love when you have a crowd and you're trying to back into something When we have long days, it seems to be the way it is because Hensley's riding for a long time. We get to where we are and we're exhausted and she is just, take me to the playground. I'm going to hop everywhere. I'm going to get, it's just, it's just whew. Um, first impressions, number one, kind of surprised this is 26 bucks a night. No hookups. But number two, um, this is pretty nice. Loving the picnic tables here. Um, and you do get some privacy with the site. Three, you can pay with cash, American here, which is awesome. And then number four, the visit to the hot springs is included for the park. So even though it's 26, we would have paid, I think 10 bucks a day, we would have paid 20 for two days. So we paid 52, we would have, it's a long day, I can't even do math anymore. <laughs> but it doesn't seem like a long day. You're looking at how bright it is right now, um, but it's like pushing eight o'clock. It's not she tacos, it's she quesadilla. Re she requested I'm that. sure she did. We're having stir fry. Oh, we're having stir fry. Hensley's got some quesadilla going on. That looks pretty good. Did you know this is the first time we've paid to stay somewhere since we left Wellington, Texas. Yeah. Yeah, I, I knew you would. So we're okay with paying that and that's kind of offsetting the fuel costs and some of the other costs of the groceries going into Canada. I'm super excited about this stop. 
it's like been my motivation to keep going just make it to the hot springs so <laughs> i'm excited this one's all natural so you have to walk on the boardwalk a little bit and there's a playground here hensley's already spotted so a couple things with travel number one is what marissa mentioned i think for us if we just say okay we need to be in fairbanks and that's our end goal like i think we get overwhelmed it takes forever but if we say here's our mini goal which we've had for different spots we want to stop and this is one of our mini goals was to get here I think it's way easier just to knock things out in four hour chunks or whatever chunks they end up being. And then also when it comes to travel, I think it's important to monitor your energy levels. I started off, Marissa wasn't in here, but I talked about like how my cups up here at the beginning of the day, it got kind of drained down doing the install on the water filter. I realized it was gonna take everything I had and we still had to drive. It still ended up getting drained down by the end of the day and I missed the turn for the campground and I was trying to back up instead of going a wrong direction and we we did we bumped into something you felt it too right yeah I we bumped into something but i can't see any damage on the airstream if it'd been the beginning of the day i would have gotten out i would have looked to make sure there's nothing behind the airstream and we would have double checked probably wouldn't have missed the turn to start with too and so as your levels go down you make more and more mistakes and those can be very costly yeah the drive was absolutely beautiful today mm -hmm. there was tons of wildlife we saw lots of bear and moose and bison and just it was like dozens it was dozens incredible of so we thought today would be like a short easy day but because there's so much beauty and there's so much to see those short days end up being kind of exhausting so it's almost like you have to make sure that you've got that in mind you think you're just going you know a few hours but there is so much it's and, we're, awesome. and we're just very stubborn we could have stopped somewhere else but we just had what we wanted to get well, we I didn't think four hours was going to be like... A... It took a seven. Yeah. 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 It only almost doubled it. We're going to eat some dinner. <laughs> Probably play some more with Hensley. Get to bed with full light. <laughs> and uh, we'll catch you guys later. She said she wanted to film. Don't want Hensley. <laughs> Do you ever see Daddy doing that? He doesn't just take his eye and stick it in the <laughs> Hensley.